Hi, so we've already heard a lot about the Florida situation and what you're doing to look into it, address uh, the situation. But I want to ask this for both on behalf of myself as a trans person and a lot of current and past trans cruisers and people in that community. Um, are you doing everything you can to get out of Florida and can you give concrete examples of what you are doing? Well, doing um, has to do with what choices do we have for ships. And part of it is financial, is in that can we put on an event on a much smaller ship and make the sustainable the answer is no. Can we move to a larger ship and have it be sustainable? The answer is no. The question is are there other itineraries that could be sustainable? And that's a big question mark too. And we do want to do it. And when we have the opportunity, we will. Um, and right now, the way our contracts work, we're locked in for what it is. Yes, so, so the cruise industry works on a multi-year timeline. Um, and we are, and, and as, as it says, we are, we are locked in for some time. And I'm sure we could just decide to break our contract. Um, and that would put us in a position to have to deal with that fact. And so we try and find a way to make, you know, to, to service all of our community members, uh, including our trans community members, and also keep our event sustainable. And look, this is also our jobs. Uh, and that's not to say that we value that more than your health and safety, but um, we're trying to find a way to keep everything. I'll say our hope is that because, and this is why this feedback is important, uh, and because we can bring this as to why it's important for there to be options other than Florida, because these ships can move around at the other places. I'll say one of the other options that's potential is to fly at Puerto Rico. Um, but I'll say that would be probably just guessing 25 to 30 percent more costs. And the, event, and the event would be two to three days shorter because the ship doesn't operate originally out of Puerto Rico, so it would sail in Florida to drop off the previous sailing, then have to sail to Puerto Rico, and then we'd get on it, then we'd have to get off, and then sail back to Florida. Um, so it's, you know, there, there's a lot of math and moving parts involved, and I don't mean to be clear describing it that way, but it is, it is a very difficult situation to try and juggle all of the moving parts. Um, and again, that's not to excuse ourselves or say, well, we might as well not even try, because we are, we are trying, but, and we promise that we, we hear and, and we are working. Um, but it's, 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 it's a, difficult, a difficult road, and a, a lengthy road, unfortunately. But there's a trouble in the position we're in. A couple of specific things, and there are a dozen more, but we do chase these down. And when we see an opportunity, we will. Okay, thank you very much. Um, just wanted to say that if the situation continues as it currently looks to be continuing to head out of Florida, uh, both myself and many other who I've heard of, many other people, will not be able to keep coming. Um, and so my last quick question uh, linked to that is, can you share anything about 2025? Uh, 2025. About the itinerary, where we would be sailing from then, any info? I think the dates have already been announced, but... 2025? Are you talking about next year? Or yes, next year? after 24. 25. After 25. Well, we already sort of blurted them out. Well, that's right, we accidentally announced it. Yeah. I mean, we are currently contracted out of Florida for 2025. I can say that. Okay, thank you for the confirmation. Yeah.